Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is finally upon us, and with it, World of Light bringing in a ton of treats from a lot of storied franchises. The amount of easter eggs and callbacks in this mode are staggering. There is a lot of nostalgia filled goodness in this mode, but we're going to focus on one of the things here in the beginning. Tiny, slight spoilers, but not really. We're just going to show the map. We're not going to do any battles or anything like that. This is the beginning of the map. If you've begun World of Light, you can like kind of already tell. Like We're like right up here. And it's a very, very early section in the game, but I just thought that some of these little Easter eggs here, they're not, while not very hidden, they're still super cool. We're going to start here. We see right there the Super NES mouse right next to those two little barns right there. That is so, so cool. I love seeing that right there. I remember my friend owning this thing, and I think they had, like, imported it from Japan or something like that. I don't know if they're even, like, available outside of Japan, but seeing the Super um, NES mouse there is a really cool little callback. All right, see, some of these are more obvious, but we have a purple Nintendo 64 over here as well as an orange GameCube. And here we have the face buttons, at least that's what it looks like to me, for a SNES controller. All these so far, very, very cool. But my favorite ones have to be over here. We have the Nintendo 64 logo. We have the Wii. We have an SNES, NES represent, uh, representation there as well. And then we have the Game boy which is just facing the wall with no game inserted it's just like kind of like looking like a building we have the wiimote standing up right here in front of us i guess at this point you guys should be able to see it's one of the two tall towers there it's the white one on the left my other favorite one is down here we have a game boy micro <laughs> that is right wow i remember having one of these things they were absolutely tiny i don't know how we ever played games on that thing but it is a thing we do that we did we even had a little smiley face here. i don't know quite what that is maybe somebody can let me know in the comments below but so much representation for nintendo's storied history we uh here we have the consoles all up here which are pretty obvious and uh this n64 building is really cool imagine like being in a like city where one of the buildings actually looks like an n64 logo the wii being represented both with the nunchuck or not the uh the the actual like the Wiimote right there actually uh, the Game Boy that's so so cool and the Game Boy Micro uh, also special shout out one more time to the Super NES mouse making its way into World of Light there are a ton of little Easter eggs like this throughout the game and I don't want to spoil stuff for you but there's just some really really good times ahead for you guys we are trying to do our best to pump a ton of Super Smash Bros Ultimate content for you again this is like very early in World of Light it's like the first section so you're not getting spoiled really here but and again, these are like super obvious, but if you do like just not pay attention, you might miss some of these. So let us know what you think in the comments below about these cool little Easter eggs. And uh, let us know if you're having a good time with Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Thank you guys for the support. Don't forget to subscribe. Twitter link is in the description. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and we will catch you on the next one. Switch Force out.